Okay, so how do we go about writing a geometric series in sigma notation? So you will recall that the geometric series is the series where we have um, we have the sum of the first n terms, so sum of term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 <coughs> all the way up to term n where the general term or if I take some random term in here let's call it term i that term would be represented by a times the constant ratio for i minus one term turns okay so so for the sum of the first n terms we can write that in sigma notation where um, we have an index, let's use the i that I used up here um, starting at 1 because this is going to represent the number of terms we're going to start at 1 and we're going to end at n okay. of term of every term, so we're going to sum up all the terms and now we can go ahead and just replace what I've just uh, showed you up here so that's the sum of i going from 1 to n and ti, I now have a formula for ti, so we just replace that a r i minus 1. Okay, and there we go. This is a way of writing that whole uh, expression out as a sigma notation. Let's look at an example. Uh, in the previous video, we saw we had 3 plus 6 plus 12, um, and we only need three terms. To confirm that it is a geometric series, we see okay. If we take 6 divided by 3, we get 2. 12 divided by 6, we get 2. So that these two terms, these two first terms, oh, sorry about that, but skew, gives me my first term and my constant ratio. So if I wanted to write this as the sum of a geometric series, um, it would be the sum of i going from 1 since I don't know where it ends actually that didn't give me an end I can even go up to infinity okay they didn't say that it had an ending it was just dot 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 so I'm summing up forever and ever okay so I can use an infinity sign there and my f um, a is 2 sorry I lie my a is 3 my first term is 3 times 2 to the power of i minus 1. If I did know that there were 7 terms, I would have had a 7 there or something like that. Okay. So how about if they give me they give me a sum, they say let's take the sum of 3 times 2 i minus 1 and let's say this was uh, Okay, if they give me this and I need to go and calculate that. Well, I can go and write it out if I want to. When i is equal to 1, it's 2 to the power of 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's uh, 1. So this is 3 plus. And then when i is 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 minus 1. That's just 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. The next one will be 12. Okay, and this goes all the way until I get to my last term, which will be uh, 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So 2 to the power of 7 is 128. 128 times 3 gives me 3, 384. That will be my final term. Okay, so mm, am I going to do each one of these eight and add them all up well you could or you could just use the formula this was the formula that we showed um, in the previous video and it will be very good if you can recall it from memory so go and learn it off by heart a is my first term three r is my constant ratio two um, and I, sorry not I, N is the number of terms 8 and S of 8 is still unknown. That's what we're going to calculate. So S of 8 will be when I replace all of this with 3 
1 minus 2 to the power of 8 divided by 1 minus 2 that gives me 3 times 1 minus 2 to the power of 8 is 256 divided by negative 1 and what answer do we get? 1 minus 256 is negative 3 times negative 255 divided by negative 1 and that will give me uh, 3 times this, what's that? 165, 6, 7, 765 there we go, 765, the negative is cancelled, so it's a positive number. There we go, 765 is the sum of the first eight terms. And instead of giving it as a series, they gave it to us in sigma notation. And all we simply did was to write it out as a series first. And from there, we could get all of the information, the first term, the constant ratio, etc. Cool, see you in the next video.